Leslie here from Message in a Fold. So today is a subscriber question day. And today's question comes from Sandra Admati. She is one of my subscribers here on YouTube, as well as a friend on Facebook. When I made these tags from the little squares and create your own tag paper and everything, what, uh, create tag envy video, She asked on my Facebook page, where do you get your ideas? A, a lot of the things that I'm going to show you today are all tools, products, and stuff that I have had for well over 10 years. And I'm trying to do something for DIY embellishments. Where do I get my ideas? I get I I get my ideas from all the different YouTube videos that are out there. There's some going around right now with those round epoxy sticker things. Um, they're clear and they're one inch circles and they're on a peel and stick thing and you press them on to whatever. I don't have any of those. Uh, I have these Tim Holtz fragment charms. I have a whole bunch of them. And as you all know, anybody that's been watching my videos, you know that I have scraps. Sometimes, sometimes you just have to go there. Sometimes you just have to, to look at what you've got and somebody's video that you've watched that they did this and you don't have, you don't have the tools, you don't have the products, but you have something comparable. You don't have to run out and buy stuff. These little facet tiles They're probably about a half an inch square. I bought those in 2001. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I'm doing, how I get my inspiration. Um, just trial and error. Some things work. Some things don't. When you're working with any clear facet thing or or one of these tile, I don't know what they are, mosaic things, when you put the glue on, and I'm using glossy accents, it's not absolutely, I'm trying to find which side is up and which is down. I think this is the bottom side. Right, it's not necessary to gob the whole thing up. 
go around the edges and put little puddles like that and then some in there and then go around the a little bit around the top now when you put it on your paper when you get it in the area that you want it you've got to press it down and move it around and you'll see as the glue works out the air bubbles or or where it looks like it's wet. If you have any any areas where you you think it the glue might not be wet, okay. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that side right there. You can see where it's wet here and then there's that white area there's not glue there so that's that's going to come away when I cut the paper so I need to add a little bit of a little smidgen of glue in there don't pull the paper back too far because this one's already tearing but just put some glue in there to get that kind of clear area let's try and make it all look about the same you know this one I put a little glitter in the heart instead of all over the piece as the glue dries with the things that have glitter in them this one I put too much glitter Got a little carried away with that. But as the glue when your pieces dry, then just cut as close to the shape as you can. These square edges are really easy to do. This shape, I'm having a little trouble getting around the, the neck and the top with my scissors. Uh, it, it's Kind of tricky. Okay. okay. And so really sharp small scissors that I can get right along there. But sometimes even these small scissors, I can't get around the corner with these. So if you have a box, a box knife, or a uh, craft knife, then you can use that. to get it cut away. Crimper tool and I have had this since the early 2000s and it's been up in my cupboard for a long time if you start it crooked it's just going to get more crooked crank over here you just turn it and then there's your 
polish your paper. It's easy, easy. It's really easy to use as long as you keep the crazy thing in there straight. All right, now we're going to try something. I'm going to punch that. Okay, well, that didn't turn out as awesome as as I had my mind thinking it would be. Okay, so let me try my scalloped oval punch on this and see what happens. Okay. I like that better. Okay, well, hey. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you, what do you have in your space that you've had for quite a while that maybe you could be inspired to do something with it? In do something creative with it instead of giving it stink eye every time you see it. Ow, oh, man, why did I buy that? Well, maybe now you can say, I'm so glad I bought that. Or, I'm so glad now I have a reason to use that. Yeah, sometimes we have to kind of look at things that way. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please come ahead and do so. There's lots of crazy coming out of this place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And hopefully it's fun crazy. Okay, this is Leslie from Message in a Fold saying, now you go show someone how special they are and have fun. Bye.